customer is looking to have his uh, front wall repaired. Um, this is a dolomite wall that is having some of the stones uh, start spalling out uh, and just uh, they're breaking apart. And uh, I said we'd probably end up having to do it on time and material. So he wants to know what the material and what the time is um, for something like this. So um, <laughs> he wants us to basically tell us which stones are going to be replaced and uh, we'll go based on that. He was very, he had a very poor experience with his wall that was done on his driveway. Um, the guy was, sounded like he was pretty much inept. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna walk through the wall here and I'm gonna count and see if I can't point in the video which stones are going to need to be replaced. Um, and we'll bid it based on that. And then we're also gonna have to replace some caps. I'll point those caps out, but I'm also gonna need to get um, I'm going to do a measurement, and if he decides to go forward, um, then uh, we'll do a further measurement of how many uh, how many caps are actually going to be needed for the linear feet and the linear feet. So, um, yeah. So here's uh, this is uh, I'll just walk through, and I'm going to see if I can't point to the ones that uh, are going to need to be replaced. A lot of them are on the pillars that you'll see along here, especially at the bottom. Uh, I'm not sure if we want to do this or not. Um, We'll see. So, all right, so there's tuck pointing that needs to be done right here. You can see this right here. Let's see if I can get out. Um, right here, let's see if I can focus in on this. Um, we've got, uh, I'll, I'll try and give you some dimensions on it. So this is a, I'll say this is about a 10 by 12 section that's been um, sliced over with, uh, um, with cement. So we've got one, uh, maybe 14 by 10. Uh, in this area right here, it's two. I know this is gonna take a little bit, but just double, just bear with me. Um, right here at the bottom, do you see how it's cemented in? So this is gonna be three. Um, tuck point here. Um, that piece right there, we'll say is four. There is, uh, in this right here, let's say that this is uh, 14 by eight, that's five. Um, we're gonna leave this, well, no, we'll call this six. And this needs to come out, uh, that's just cement, that's seven. Um, this guy right here is eight. At the bottom is nine. Uh, we're actually gonna leave that piece. Uh, this is 10, this looks is about 16 by eight right there. We're gonna do this one, I think that's 11. All right, now we've got a big area here that looks like it's about 18 by 12 that's just been mashed over. Um, and I've lost count, so there's one right here. And actually, this down here as well um, looks like it needs to be touched up. Um, and we'll leave that alone. Um, that's just peripheral. Uh, right in here, we'll call that two feet by, let's say, six inches. We've got another piece right here. We'll call that 12 inches by 12 inches. <sighs> we get down here, and this is covered with cement. I'm actually not inclined to replace this because that that thing is right there. So, But then we've got a piece right here. It looks 16 by 8 um, on the bottom of it. Let's call this a nine by nine area right there. See, we've got more cement that's just been smeared on here. Um, we're gonna leave this alone for now. That's just, um, yeah. Uh, we've got this piece right in here. Uh, we've got some more tuck pointing uh, right along that joint. Um, this piece at the bottom, that's going to be 12 by 6. We've got this area right along here. Um, that's cemented in. Uh, that looks, at the base of it, it looks to be about 2 feet and about 10 feet tall. Um, this is 16, let's say by 12, right at the base here. 
We've got another area of cement here. Um, we'll call this, because we're going to have to replace the bulk of this piece, we'll call this a 12 by 12 piece. More cement, that's, you know, 8 by 4. We've got this guy right here. Um, that's going to be about 14 by 4. Corner here, we'll call that a foot by a foot. This might just be an exercise in futility. A um, little tuck point in here. We're going to need to do some tuck pointing on the side. And on the side, um, we've got some pieces coming up here. And right there. Let's see, this wall looks to be better. We've got a chunk right here. We'll call that whole piece is about five inches tall and let's say 12 inches wide. That's a tough pointing right there. I'm hesitant to do some of the bigger pieces here. Um, I just. Uh, let's call that 10 by 10. Let's call that 12 by 10. Let's call that 16 by 10. And then we've got caps that are going to need to be replaced. And I will get the, the, to the measurement of this um, just so we can have a basic idea of what it's going to cost. Um, so these are 3 inch thick, by the way. They look to be sawn. So we will replace this one. To go with this one is two. This guy right here is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably that is nine. Ten. This is actually cemented, so eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen, and we'll cut that because it's a long piece, but we'll call that fourteen. and then uh, 15 and 16. Let's talk about whether we want to do this or not. I told him he needed to replace it and just do it in chunks. Um, so I'll write down the, the total linear feet of what the caps are. But, um, yeah. 